Hello everyone and welcome to WP User TV. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this coming soon page. So this page has a few elements to it. It has a countdown timer and it also has an opt-in where visitors can leave their name and email if they want to be notified when the website is going to be live. On the bottom here as well, we have social media icons where people can go to your social media profiles to see your social media channels. I'll be giving away this layout for free, so I will leave a link in the comments box below so you can go ahead, download it and use it in your own designs. If you're brand new to web design, I also have a course that I'm giving away for free. It's called WordPress Mastery. This is a course which teaches you everything that you need to know around WordPress. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. Again, this course covers everything that you need to know about Divi and also how to create awesome looking websites. So all that information is in the comments box below. So let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on um, new page. So we're going to call this page uh, DU coming soon like that. And then I'm going to click on use TV builder. Now, before we go into the visual builder, it's very, very important that you come over here to the template and select a blank template. So the landing page doesn't need to have the header and the footer. So it needs to be just blank. OK, so after you've selected blank page, you can go ahead now and click on publish. Now it's time to go into the visual builder. So we're going to come over here, click on use visual builder. Excellent. Right. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to our section um, settings to add our background image. So I'm going to click on background and I'm going to go ahead and click on this third tab. Click this plus button and we're going to add our background image. So my image is already in my media library. So I'm just going to select it and then click upload an image. OK, so now my image is uploaded. Next, I'm going to go into the advanced settings because what we need to do here is to add a bit of CSS code. Now, this CSS code is going to allow us to make this image fill the full screen. So the CSS code we're going to need for that is uh, goes in the main element and I'm just going to paste it in here. OK, so now that I have all that set, it, my image is now filling the whole page. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Next, we need to add our columns. So I'm going to come over here to my row, click this plus button. We are going to add a two column. Uh, we're going to add two columns like that. OK, so the first module we're going to add in here is the countdown timer. So I'm just going to search for it and then I want to select countdown timer. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to set the date so you can choose whatever date you want on this calendar. So I'm going to choose uh, February the 28th. And then I'm going to come over here to the background because we don't need that background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on no to use background. Next, I'm going to come over here to design. In fact, before I go to design, I'm just going to go into text and give this a title. So we're going to call this we'll be back soon. But you can all obviously name name this whatever you want. OK, so that's my title. I'm going to come over here to design and then I'm going to go to my title text. So this is where you can do all your customizations. So if you want to make the text bigger, you can always come in here and make those adjustments. So I'm just going to bring it up to about, say, 38. In fact, or even 40. OK, and then if you want to uh, customize the sizes for the mobile uh, devices, you can click this little icon here and then you can go into the tablet and change the sizes. So you can see here we can just bring it up to about, say, 33 smartphone. Again, we can just reduce that or maybe even leave it at about 26. OK, so that's how you do it. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. Next, I am going to uh, adjust my numbers text. So here it's set to 54. We can make it bigger if you want, but I'm not just going to I'm not going to play around with this. I'm just going to leave it at, say, about 48 or even 46. OK, so that's fine. So next, I am going to just go ahead and save. And then I am just going to create some padding. So I'm just going to drag this until I get to about, say, 180. But depending on the size of your screen, you can you know customize this to what works for you. OK, so now that we have that in place, the next thing we're going to do is to add another module for our opt in. So I'm going to click this plus button and then I'm going to search for opt in. And then here it is, email opt in. OK, so again, it comes with a background, so we need to get rid of that background. So I'm going to come over here to background and where it says use background color, I'm going to say no. 
Right, so now we have all our fields. So again, I'm gonna come over here to fields because we don't need the second name and we're going to disable it right here. Okay, like that. And then over here, this is where you can add your um, success action. So you can actually add a message here to say mess, uh, you've received the message, or you can even say, you can, you can even come here and uh, redirect that message to a custom page. But we're not gonna go into that, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is for now. So what you can also do is you can also give this form a title. So you can come over here and say, be the first to know, like that. For the button, we can just change the word subscribe to notify me. Okay, so now I have this in place. Next, I'm just going to go into the design tab and just make a few changes. So for the title text here, I'm just going to make sure that it's centered like that. And the size, I think it's fine uh, at about 28. And we're going to leave the line height as it is. Uh, if we need to make changes to the button here, we can always come here to this button and uh, click on use custom styles for button. So this will allow you to go in and make further customizations to that button. But we're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so now that we have all that in place, the one thing I'm gonna do quickly is just come over here into sizing and we're just gonna change the width because it's a bit too big. So we can reduce it to about 80% like that. And then we're gonna make it centered. Okay, so now it's looking much better. Okay, so now that we have all our elements in place, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then we're also gonna add our social media icons. So I'm gonna click this plus button here to add our module. And then I'm just gonna search for my social media follow. Right, now it's time to add our social media icons. So what I'm gonna do here is to click this plus button. And then I'm gonna select my network. So I'm gonna start off with Facebook. And then over here on the link, this is where you add the link to your Facebook page. But for now, I'm just gonna add a blank link like that. But in your case, obviously, you're going to add a proper URL. Okay, so that's my first one. Uh, I'm just gonna click this little arrow here on the top, add another network. So this time I'm gonna add, uh, say Twitter, go back. I'm gonna add another one. This time it's gonna be, let's say Google Plus. I know a lot of people don't use Google Plus anymore, but I'm just gonna add it anyways. And then finally, I'm gonna add LinkedIn. Okay, so that's enough for now. Next, I'm gonna go into design because I need to make sure that these are centered. So alignment, we can center this. So now it's all looking good. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Next, we need to add a background color here so this information can really stand out. So to do that, we're going to come into our row settings. We're gonna click on background. So we need column one background, so I'm just gonna click this plus button here to add our color, and I'm just gonna go with this black, and then we're gonna add some transparency. So I'm just gonna click here on the slider and then just drag it down until we can start to see the background a little bit, okay, like that. So that's looking really good, I'm really happy with that. So now I can just go ahead now and save. Right, so I need to do a few adjustments here. I'm just gonna go back into my countdown timer click on design and then uh, in the text, I'm just gonna come over here to my numbers text and just change that from regular to Montserrat. And then I'm just gonna reduce the size a little bit. It's a bit too big. Okay, so let's say 28. Okay, so that's looking good now. And then I'm just adjusting here the numbers height. So that I'm gonna leave at 30. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Okay, so we can see here that my buttons are really close to the edge right here. So again, I'm gonna go into my row settings and then I'm gonna come over here to my design tab and then I'm gonna come on spacing. So this is where I need to add some padding. So I'm gonna go to my column one here and let's add, let's say 20 to the padding, padding bottom. And that looks pretty cool. I don't need to add uh, padding to the top or the left, so I'm just gonna leave this as it is, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save. So now that our page is looking really good, I can just uh, come over here, add a bit more padding as well, just to make this look much better, like that. So pretty much our layout is done. All we have to do now is to go ahead and save it. So I'm gonna come over here to the bottom, click on save over here to the right, and then I can exit the Visual Builder. 
Okay, so that's our final design. You can go ahead and download this layout. I'll leave a link in the show notes below so you can go ahead and download it and use it in your own designs. So again, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, I'll be notifying you every time I release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.